Hello everyone and welcome back to Seasons of Silver as we're looking at, well, some rides that are on the island over here and also my timber production which is kind of like crippled at the moment. In the last episode we finally managed to get the first Obreros into town. Not in the best kind of weather, right? But there they are. And if you're wondering uh, how this one looks a bit different, yes it is because I had to reload. We are just going to fiddle around there a bit. There are some very strange things in this game that I don't fully understand. So for example we cannot upgrade the Honolero so we do need to get rid of these buildings here manually and then build Nobrero on top of that. Right? I cannot just upgrade them even though they have the same size so technically it would have been possible but for some reasons it's not possible at least not in this save file. I don't know if it's actually possible at all. Now what we also have is we're still a bit before the first delivery that I finished in the last episode and that is because the second delivery is so huge, so huge that I would never have gotten it. Um, we need to readjust there a bit. I need to get my Obreros more quicker, or more quickly, right? So quicker than the first delivery actually finishes. This is something that I think Frostbunk does a better job at, ramping up the difficulty and not to impossible tasks right away. You'll just see, you'll just see what the second task is actually. The first one, we're waiting literally 20 minutes because it's taking so long, right? 25 tons of silver is extremely easy. So, right, we are at 60 tons almost. And the next delivery will just blow your mind with how steep it goes up. Um, there is no comparison to that. I was really surprised and I tried a couple of times and I thought the best option is just going to be to reload my latest uh, save file then where we are before the first delivery so I can react a bit and you'll just see. Now the rides are still being fought as we can see so that is new. I haven't had rides yet before I think on this, on this scenario. And it is in impairing our... Um, production there quite a bit especially my timber we do have a bit of timber in again so I would like to get rid of these guys there getting a bit of money and timber back and then we're just going to build some braros on top of that right so those and these are beautiful buildings the big ones at least right but of course because it's raining you can't see it so nicely there a bit of timber more coming in we have um, a negative a content or a negative happiness there right now for my people that is two things. First of all, the chapel is not working at the moment, so that's out of service. That, of course, directly leads to something. And then we have the Pontrus. Now, if you remember, I made that promise to work harder now and rest later. Well, we're in the rest later phase at the moment. That means that my productivity for all my buildings is down by 50% for another 18 minutes. And that also affects my farms, my basic production, and that means that my goods are tanking at the moment. I'm countering that by um, increasing the the workload right so basically we have 50 percent on all the vital products there except corn corn is fine and with that what i can basically do i can compensate it a bit but only a tiny bit there's the schnapps we need to rebuild this and what i will do is i will basically get us another schnapps a facility over there so that this one comes in ponchos is completely down right i think I think for ponchos it's negative four. That's insane, right? So we have uh, a few goatees there for the ponchos, um, and we do need to readjust. Also, in my Ila de Luto, um, we are just barely now finishing that basin there. So let's finish it. There you go. It is still raining for 1.5 minutes, so it, it can fill up there a bit. And also, by the way, yeah, our first delivery um, can be fulfilled now. I'm going to wait the three minutes though, right? Because every minute counts and the second delivery only starts once this one is over. So we can use that to, to really get going. And how should we going? Well, let me show you what we need. That is the next production chain. It's this. It's this much. And it's a lot of stuff that we need to um, add into this game just to get it. And look at that. We have the cyanide leecher. That is new. And it is producing only every four minutes. Which is crazy. It's extremely slow and takes a lot of space. It does require saltpeter, which uh, is being used in the ammonia plant. And one of them can actually support four of the cyanide leechers. So I'm going ahead here and I'm going to have one saltpeter work. And let's have this one, yep, yeah, right here in my main harbor area. Where we already have the shipyard. I think money isn't really a problem here. So I could move the shipyard and get this one a bit closer there. Right, so that this one works. That would be the first one, of course, only producing 50% less. So at 50% rate. I'm going to add the next silver ore, not yet. We have enough silver ore. So I can use that for the ammonium plant now. Which has a surrounding area. 
A bit strange there. Let's build it. There's the timber. It gets the Solpeter now. Um, and the Solpeter works. One can actually provide two ammonia plants. So it's actually almost equal now, right? We can have two. Um, and it will still work. Actually, we can only support one for now. We only need one anyway. This one has the design needle leecher. And we are already down on timber. It's so much timber. 20 tons, 35 tons, 30 tons of timber. And we are at zero. Shouldn't really be there so long anymore, though. We are already boosting all the timber there by 50% as well. And I'm probably going to have to do it for the wood uh, too. That means my honolers are at zero now. At least the chapel is working. Just to get a bit of timber in. Two more minutes. The next one would be the charcoal kiln, right? I do need... Let's just check this one out. I do need four to support one. Um, I think two will be fine for now though. Because we only need half of it really. We don't even need half of that. Um, actually one of them can support... Yeah, like eight silver smelters right so we can take half of that so two charcoal kilns should be perfectly fine these are some very interesting new um, production chains there that i haven't seen yet so we're just going to get this one here um and this one here right so that's both 100 percent and in the center of it we're going to have then these factories the coal coking furnace so that would be number one actually let's get rid of that and have number one and number two just behind that summer is starting too that means i think productivity should be going up again at least for my normal production and the lumberjack cuts produce 15 percent more and this one makes the connection here so let's just have a look at that again right oh they're really slow though right so i mean think oh actually only one we need right this one that goes to both of them okay like so that it's faster. Of course, they need time again also to build up their production planting process. Lucky they don't need any water or something like that. So they can just really work um, in that area. That should be fine. And they are also very forgiving, right? So one of them and we can actually have 100% really easy. Move this perhaps a bit further. Look at that. Even here it would work at 100%. Yeah, let's have it here. That's closer. It's just better. Right. And this one then too. And Where we keep this area available there. Go? Now, one more minute we have. Uh, let's just have a look. We have this one now rolling. Um, for the Solpita works, I have the ammonia plant now working. The silver we have. And then I need the cyanide leecher. These are really tricky. Let's build one here by the beach. And they need eight oxidation pools, which is a lot. Um, and you can't build them on the water, right? Which is probably the most interesting thing. You actually need them here. You need to build them here. And that's not even all. They also need to have a connection to the warehouse. So they can't be... Like, the pools themselves need to have a connection to the warehouse, right? So you can't just place them anywhere. They need to have a dedicated location. Um, let's place the first ones here. They have their their connection then. And then I can do the same thing here. Hopefully. That's going to work. Perfect. There you go. So that's eight, right? Eight is supports. And we could have a second one then here later. But one should be golden. 45 seconds. Um, timber, 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 timber. This one we don't need uh, yet right away. This one still needs the dung. And the dung. Where do we get the dung? Alright, 17 seconds. Let's actually turn it in and finish our you first delivery awesome. with that. There you go. And you have successfully met the first quota within the deadline. Do you simply fulfill the quota or will you attempt to negotiate with the actuary? Bribe him? That's for the 50k again, so we already had this. And just fulfill it for now. Um, the next one should definitely not be higher. So we have now 45 minutes for getting 35 tons of uh, that silver. Okay, so how do we produce dung? That actually the game absolutely also doesn't tell you. And that would be, you need to get the ammonia plant close to a to the animal farms right it doesn't state that here at all so i was searching now for the dung farm the dung production which should have been here i guess it's not so only when you move this one the ammonia plant to animal farms do they automatically start producing dung like every two th uh, second good i think they produce very strange indeed so they should definitely have added a tooltip there or something like that um and, and it just doesn't tell you that uh, i'm probably going to need them two here uh, let's just hope that we have enough dung production out of these four um i could then add more of animal farms of course to this area then who knows about that really 
um, we'll just wait it out, right? So that would be the first one. So this one is hope hopefully starting now, and that would then be so able to support the Cyanid Leecher. We have 78 tons of um, timber, so I can go ahead with the other thing that we need, which would be this production line here. So that is the coal um, coking furnace that makes then what out of it? Coke. That is right. So coke we make out of that. We are still in the planting process. We have still 42 minutes. So the goal here is to get two silver smelters by the time we are at 20 minutes. And only then can we manage to do this. What because this they curious? produce every two minutes. Um, if I want to have them double that, of course I do need two. And that would then lead to the uh, 35 tons of silver bars that we need if I boost it also with my... Basically with my... Um, work work boost there. So impact and chance of rise, sympathetic leader we are once again. I think I've already activated that at some point. Um, they like me a bit more now because of that, right? Um, another thing that I should probably do is add a couple more normal corner levers um, to this area so that we get the workforce in. Just absolutely required there at this point. And let's also get us um, a few more obreros, right? And by the way, how long does this penalty still last me? Uh, another 10 minutes. It's insane, really. So we're going down to 30 minutes then on this counter. Um, I, I don't have the bricks now, right? We do need 55 tons of bricks for this side. It's a leecher there. Um, and I think not all of them are working at the moment. And even then, only at 50%. So once again, I need to check this one out. Nope. You and you also 50%. I know the Honolers will not like that so much. We are at plus one only now. But it's still fine. At least they're producing at 100%. My ammonia plant, though, is working, right? So that has started up its production of the cyanide that we need. And the coke should also be running then already anytime now. So once they finish their planting process, which takes ages. While this one is going, um, there's not that much else that I could do. Let's build the warehouse there for now. This one is for the mine. Um, and I think let's get rid of them because I don't need to build so many at once, of course. Four would be probably pretty fine already. Um, so that would be every eight minutes, I guess. Or is every one of them producing every four minutes? Also, that is something I'm not quite sure of at this at this moment. So I guess we're just going to figure it out. Um, building this one now, right? Doesn't do that much. And now we can add them then one by one. But at the moment, it's not working. Factors. All right. Another explosion over there. So this seems a bit scripted That's that fine, it happens bro. now after the delivery, I guess. But okay, we can do this. We have fire stations and police stations everywhere in this area. That's working out. That's working out. And yeah, we can actually focus a tiny bit on my other village where we have the timber basically rolling in. I could use this timber. The main island, after all, we do have some ships available. Those 50 tons for building up a bit more workforce. Do we have bricks? Yeah, we have bricks on the island, but I don't want to waste them. Oh, that's tricky. And how's the basin? The basin would be now ready for action. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. This one we can move up to this area. And here we can now make one basin working for both farms, right? So once the next monsoon season starts, then uh, we can make this one work. That would be here. Uh, they always like to turn around. Please, stay like that. There you go. And we got this one all the way up here. And this one goes through... Nope, through here. And then we got another one most likely over there, right? So we can have like two farms then going over there um, if I need to. Also, let's get us a few more Honoleros in this town. We're going to need the workforce. There you go. At least that's working out. Um, we are at 38 minutes. How's it looking there? The bricks are still not rolling in so quickly. I would love to start my first one. There it is. Oxidation pool. Actually, it's built all four of them. That's fine. All right. Okay. Each Just one of them mission. gets now their resources. And I think each one of them produces every four minutes. Right? If that is true, then it's not we that bad when it comes to production time. Do I have no idea at this point? Base production is still reduced. How long? Six more minutes. And they're also getting now the this the coke. Or the cyanide and the silver ore. Silver ore we have plenty of. 
with the cyanide, of Fire. course. Left ruins behind. Could boost this. That's the obreros. We haven't boosted the obreros in anything yet. So I could easily do that for these ones. Oh, Soul Peter, let's not do this. The penalty is really high. Instead, let's build a second Soul Peter work. For the bricks. And then we can just add the shipyard right next to that. That we have a com rather complete looking harbor area once more. It's also time to get us the second cyanide um, production up and running. That's here. The cool thing is we do have a dung surplus of plus one. So anyway, that sounds great to me because I only need two for now, right? In order to support my production chain that we need for three to four silver smelters then on time. Um, we could try to reach it before 20 minutes. So I think three silver um, smiths will be fine. Though I'm already scared of the silver coins. <laughs> so whatever is coming up there, we'll just see. We can use the remaining timber that we have um, for a couple more productions. The penalty should really be gone now anytime, Maybe right? So two more minutes, perfect. Younger. That really is hurting us a lot right now. It was very helpful, but um, in hindsight, we should have not used it, I guess, because the first step is so easy compared to the second step, um, the second delivery, that we could have very well used this boost right now to make things so much easier. But well, that's how it goes you need to learn by playing um let's add a couple more of these guys here we're going to need them um and we could build them right away and i think we're doing that because you can never have enough of these for the overproduction also we need it for the cyanide of course to consume so there's two of them now i think we are boosting that yep All right so peter is coming in anyway and now i just basically need to wait here um and in ila de luto i could continue then we don't need any more workforce but I can have my fields here now, and that would be the linseed for my um, for my ponchos. And I can also prepare my next production chain then right away, which would be the fish stew. For that, we need the spice and fishes, right? So this one here and fish. Both of them we can have in the Cerdo de Prato, uh, Prato. So both of them we can have here. For the coffee, though, that is in Ila de Luto. So I will need coffee for sure. Definitely will need that. Um, so we can already prepare this next step. That would be this bas in here. Construction can resume. We do need a couple more bricks then for this one. Other than that, we should be golden. This one has a capacity of 43 right now. Um, of course, it's filling up to 160 actually, but we can't. Um, you know, summer season is lasting there after all. So I think we will be just fine with these ones. Um, and I guess if I... Plant them now like that. Here. Um, it's 144 fields, so it's really quite a lot. There you go. And then I will have the second one that goes all the way here. Can make this one work. And there. This one will have water up to this point there, so four tiles. And then it goes all the way around it. Right. And there we can actually make this work. That's two of them. Perfect. And then I can have the same thing once we finish this one for the coffee. But that, however, I do need some more bricks and we don't have that. So no can do. I still have a few stories how it used to be better. All right. I'm so looking forward to that. Perfect. The penalty is over. Um, so the production is going up again. I'm still going to leave this at 50% for now. We have a contempt population and we don't have really any rides or something like that. So let's just let that sink in again. All that additional production and boosting so that people get happy there right and we yeah get the workforce back up how we need it 29 more minutes i think we are almost ready now they are all working perfect so there's a lot of these whatever it is silver amalgam coming in so plus one ton already and also the coke is in perfect right so coke and silver uh or this well, amalgam and for that we have the silver smelter 80 ton 80 obreros it needs um, and quite a lot of bricks there too let's have it yeah let's have it here I guess my silver smelters I uh, will need quite a lot of them uh, make it actually six because they produce um, 0 0.5 every minute right so that's one two three silver bars per minute uh, up to a maximum of that for now and I'm pretty sure Let's use this tiny space there for a fire station. 
because as always, you need those fire stations. And there's also my first. Silver smelter now, getting the resources. And with that, we start up the production. How very nice. Can we boost the Zizobreros? Oh, nah. I don't think so. Not by a long shot. I'm not doing that. We're just going to let it run now. I can't wait for this one here to fully work now. Getting its resources. There they are. We need raw materials. And there it is starting its smelting process. Silver smelting has begun. The next big major milestone. We do need a couple of them now. Right? So that would be the major goal now for in order to reach that. And I think we are good on time there. So... Uh, we can then actually prepare and work ahead because I'm very scared of a third delivery and I'll just, you know, work ahead there myself um, with producing and preparing more productions and production chains because I think workforce is going to be a major problem then soon. So far so good. I hope you enjoyed this one, the next step. And now we're just aiming for the second delivery. Stay tuned.